Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, let me know if you are ready too.
welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me? Right? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let us start with the topic that we started uh, the last week. What do you remember about? But let me introduce her my, um, my new topic. Okay, this is, this is um, class number 15. What we are going to do today is just a review about the topic that we have started during the last week. So, uh, in order to start, I'd like to Vamos a hacer este día es un repaso sobre la semana anterior. Y es necesario que cada uno puntualice. El día de mañana iniciamos la última semana, culminando el día lunes. Y así Dios lo permite. Teacher, no sé si solo a mí, pero casi no se le escucha. Hola, hola, hola. Teacher, no se le entiende mucho. Permítame un segundo. Uno, dos, dos, dos. Ahora. Muy bien, teacher. Ok, les, les agradecería que siempre que suceda me lo, me lo indiquen, porque acá tengo algo de comprobación de micrófono y me manda que está bien, pero creo que no tengo la base. Teacher, quizás se aleja, quizás se aleja y es cuando se, cuando se le pausa o no sé, se escucha bien lejos. 
He estado en la plataforma y he visto que hay algunos que todavía me deben algunas actividades referentes a, lógico, estamos haciendo el cierre de la semana 3 hoy y por eso estoy haciéndoles el recordatorio, pero también tengo algunos que ya pasaron varias semanas y no, no hay labor ahí, aparecen dos, tres semanas en blanco, entonces... Solo pedirles que, por favor, que tratamos de hacerlo. ¿Sí se entiende? Ok. Y la otra es que este día se nos un review de la semana anterior. Yo creo que nos hemos estudiado. Y para iniciar, me gustaría que me dijeron otra vez igual, teacher. Otra vez. Volvió a fallar. Sí, porque estoy en la misma, a la misma distancia. Ok, permítame un segundo. Quiero ver qué sucede aquí. Sí, hay problemas. Sí, hay... Hola, 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 hola. Se le escucha lejos, Tiche. Y ahora. Ahora sí. Hola. Hola, hola. Ahí tendría que mantenerse. Muy bien, teacher, ahí, ahí, ahí. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, ya vamos a... Don't move, teacher. Hola. Don't move. Ah, ok. Eso es lo que es difícil. <laughs> sí, difficult to stay in the same place, you know, I need to move a little bit. Ok, uh, well, what, what I was saying is that today we are going to make a review uh, related with the topic that we already have started during the last week. And uh, you are going to have the opportunity to clarify some doubt that maybe you can have related with, with some topic. Okay, so in order to start, I would like to know uh, that you tell me what do you remember about those topics? Me gustaría iniciar que me recordasen qué, qué temas son los que ustedes tienen en mente de la semana que acaba de pasar, de la cual estamos haciendo este cierre hoy. Ustedes me dicen, mire, fíjese que yo recuerdo este tema. Hola. Mi micrófono otra vez. No creo. Teacher. Teacher. Hello, sir. I remember that use the sentences with negative sentences. Oh, negative sentences. Yes, for example, uh, when use when, uh, with... I, you, we, they, uh, in this, um, in the sentences, don't need to. And he, she, it, when doesn't need to, to. He, uh, also other sentences. Okay, perfecto. Somebody else can mask. Last week, teacher, we we were study uh, present continuous and the use to uh, going to and ing. For example, I am studying or I going to the church. 
Okay. That's it. Sí, está bien. ¿Quién más? Hola. Hola, 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 hola. Sí, me voy. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, ya, ya me tienen preocupado ustedes. I, I'm really worried because sometimes I, I, I start speaking and anybody answered me. So I worried about. Okay, somebody else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Ya nadie más recuerda nada. Hola. Teacher. Hello. Hi again. I remember that use the what, when, where, why, which, who, how in sentences when is uh, when and use in present continuous too. Okay. Somebody else. Yes, somebody else. We are waiting. Eso me gusta. Yes, somebody else. Somebody else. Más, alguien más. Esto. Someone else. Someone else wants to say something about this. Teacher. Hello. El de topic, uh, simple present. Ah, simple present. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, estudiamos sobre algunas reglas de cómo agregar el ing en algunos verbos, teacher. Ah, ok. <coughs> ok, perfecto. Teacher, other topic is adverb of frequency. Uh, adverb of frequency, and, adverb of frequency, ok. And use to how much and how many. Ok, the use of how much and how many too. Ok. Okay, let me check out the, the attendance first. Vamos a, a checar la asistencia primero. Porque después se nos olvida. Okay, um, let me see here. Okay, America, Elizabeth. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Right, the number one here, Anaitis. Doesn't show up. Blanca Esperanza. Blanca. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Blanca. 
Eh, Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Edwin Alexis. Hola Edwin, 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 estamos ya cerrando la tercera semana. De aquí en adelante ya no pueden estar faltando. La asistencia es muy importante para la aprobación del módulo. Bueno, no está don Edwin, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok, sir, ok, perfect. Uh, Francisco Pereira. Ya no nos no se apareció don Fran. Gabriela Yamilet. I am here, teacher. Ok, Gaby. Gisela. Gisela. No está. No le creo. Ingrid. Present. Ok. Eh, Iván y Alicet. Iván y Alicet. Jonathan. Present teacher. Ok. Um, José Ernesto. No, José Ernesto no ha llegado. Eh, José Luis, don José Luis Beltrán. ¿Dónde está? Karina Vanessa. Karina Vanessa. No. Eh, Katherine Maricela. Present. Iris Alvarado. Ok. Karina. Déjenme ver, alguien me escribió aquí. Ana Iris. ¿Dónde está Ana Iris? Ah, Ana Iris. Ana Iris nos acaba de responder, señores. Ok, Catherine Paola. Paola. Present, teacher. Present. Ok, thank you. Candy, Natalie. Candy. Present teacher. Ok, is there, is there. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Roxana. Present teacher. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Present. Eh, eh, Janet. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Jessica. Jessica. No está Jessica. I'm sorry, Jessica. Okay, it's really hot here. I need to turn on my air conditioner.
Okay. Okay, I'm going to share with you a link and you are going to click on it and I'm going to explain you how you are going to deal with this. Voy a compartir con ustedes un enlace. Por ahí está. No sé si lo pueden... Es el primero. Dele doble clic, por favor. Ok, dicho. Y luego les explico cómo lo vamos a hacer. El que vaya abriendo me va poniendo ahí la manito arriba, por favor. In order to see that you got the right link. Ah, ok, ya tengo. Let me see how many people I got. Two. Three. Okay, I got, uh, let me see how many people. Two, four, six, eight, nine, only nine. What about the rest? You know, the mass. I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting. Catherine, Giselle, Jonathan, America. Cecilia, Candy, eh, Blanca. No. And teacher, I am I am a star. I'm ready. Oh. I am Giselle. Okay, Giselle. Teacher, si me puedo meter, pero si yo me meto al link que usted envió y quiero notificarle que ya estoy ahí, ya no puedo, entonces me acabo de salir para avisarle que sí puedo meterme. Ahorita me voy a volver a meter y si no le correspondo, teacher, es porque si yo le respondo de ahí, me saca de la clase. Ok, uh, I, I got a question first. Tengo una pregunta antes. ¿Ya, mm -hmm. ¿ya entendieron cómo funciona o les, o les muestro cómo se hace? Mm, si yo, no sé. ¿Hola? yo lo estaba haciendo desde mi celular. Teacher. Ah, uh -oh. let me see what can I do. Déjeme ver qué hago, porque alguno, bueno, okay, let me show you here. I don't know if, mm. hold on a second, let me try to do something else first. Okay, uh, te lo voy a explicar sin mostrar nada. Hay un cuadrito donde dice present continuous tense, ¿cierto? Hola. Sí. Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Luego dice, there are 10 questions in this quiz. 
Correcto. Read the grammar explanation below. Ok, y luego aparece el número uno. Dice, which word can not go in the space? ¿Qué palabra de la que está abajo no puede ir en el espacio? Entonces, hay una palabra que no puede ir. La seleccionas y automáticamente aparecerá ya la opción de la siguiente pregunta hasta hacer eh, la 10. ¿Me doy a entender? Sí, teacher. Ok, let's do it Teacher, eh, eh, Lynn lo compartió acá en el chat de, de, de la Miren. Hola, hola. El link lo compartió aquí en el chat de la Miren. Sí, en el Zoom. Eh, es que yo no, no, no logro verlo. Wow, wow, wow. Alguien que me ayude pasándolo al WhatsApp, por favor. Veamos quién, 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 quién lo hace. Hola, ¿quién? Ok, es there. Es en the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Por ahí se lo envió Roxy dos veces, mira. Ok, thank you. Yes, I see, I see. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let us do it now, please. Lean bien, por favor. Okay. Lean bien, por favor, lean bien, por favor.
Let me know as soon as you finish, please. I, I finished, teacher. Okay. Okay, we are still waiting for the rest. Finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish teaching. Okay. Finish. Okay. Somebody else? Is there anybody? anybody?
Okay, now uh, I need to take a look at the place number 32 in your material. Necesito que veamos la página 32 de su material. Yo se la puse acá. And uh, we are going to work in this exercise number four. Right here. Okay, right here we are going to talk about how to use simple present versus present continuous. Based on that, we are going to complete the sentences in present continuous on right here. So uh, I'm going to give you about five minutes so that you can do it. Gabriela? Bueno, todo, pueden bajar su manito porque me, me, me llamó la atención que me apareció alguien ahí que me iba a decir algo, pero ya vi que hay varios así. Porque les pedí que subieran su mano. I ask you to raise your hand in order to see that you uh, were able to access to the test. So uh, let us resolve this exercise that is number four, please. And then we are going to discuss about
Did you finish? Finish the show. Okay. Finish to show. Okay. Okay, who wants to resolve number two? Uh, number two, Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Okay. Number three, somebody else? He stays care. He? He stays care. Mm. Add everything okay pero que dice aquí ah pre present continue entonces, he, entonces, he is talking ah uh, he is taking care of everything he's taking care of everything okay nice thank you number four number four Number four, teacher. I am paying attention I am in the playing. instructions. I am paying attention to the instructions. To the instruction, okay. Number five. She is preparing the briefing. 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 Okay. Briefing. Number six. The they are sending. They, they are sending. They are uh, sending the product to the warehouse. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Okay, okay. Let it, let us see what else you are going to do. Let it be right in the boxes. The activities that you usually do on Monday morning, right here. You are going to write it. At least four.
Okay, somebody wants to give me an example. Okay, let me see your faces here. Me, teacher. Okay, Gabby. On Monday morning, I wake up and take a shower. I got to take a bath to my job. I eat my breakfast and I go to start to work. Uh, okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Teacher. Okay, Edwin. Um, Monday um, in the morning, I I get up every every uh, morning. Uh, I have a breakfast. I take a shower. And I go to my job, and and, and sometimes uh, with my daughter and. She in the at the university, and after I have my first meeting with my partners in my job, the meeting is about um, the last week. Speaking about the last week, and uh, the time is approximately only five or ten minutes. And after I um, read read uh, emails and send my weekly reports to my job in the morning. Okay. Somebody help us. Teacher. Hello? Okay, in the morning, I get up, I take a shower, I breakfast, I go to work, and uh, great activities, I teach classes. Okay. Thank you, somebody Thank else? You, Candy, do it. I get up to iron my uniform. I take a shower. I make my breakfast. I go to the work. I use the computer. I check my document. I go to the house. Okay. Next. Somebody else? Teacher. Me, me, teacher. Okay. The office work, ordering forms, make forms for cleaning, uh, checking documents to my box. Okay. 
Teacher, my activities. Okay, your activities, Jonathan. Okay. I am working, uh, my activities are in my workplace, teacher. I am working on a new project in Cholatenango. I am working in, uh, in my workplace. I am making phone call and I am sending email teacher. Okay. Somebody Okay, let us continue, then we are going to switch. Okay, let me see, I'm going to share this. Let us talk about uh, the simple present or the present continuous. I am going to show you one of these, and you are going to, according to the question or the sentence that you are going to give me an answer. So I'm going to choose someone here in the list. Eh, voy a elegir a alguien de la lista. Y por ejemplo, alguien si le corresponde what three things you do first after you wake up. What can you tell me about? Hola, 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 hola. Mi micrófono está fallando otra vez. Okay. I tell you, a no, teacher. Please, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But, okay, but let me spin. I'm going to spin the wheel. But I need a volunteer who wants to start. Necesito un voluntario que quiera iniciar, que me diga, me, teacher, I'm going to do it. No tengo. Okay, ahí está. Gisela, here we go. Okay. The first... Hold, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, ahí está. Esa es su question. ¿Cómo sería la forma correcta de esa pregunta? ¿Qué falta ahí? What do you do? What do you? What do? Lea despacio, despacio. Or what, what are you planning to eat tonight? Okay, repeat again, please. What are you planning to eat tonight? Okay, uh, and this question we are using, simple present. Our plan is. Simple no, present or past continue. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, present progressive. Progressive. Okay, progressive, thank you. Give me a name of one of your classmates, please. Regáleme un nombre de uno de sus compañeros, por favor. I know. Okay. Um, Edwin. <laughs> Edwin. Okay. Hi, sir. Okay, here we go. I'm going to. Yeah, here. Okay, hold on a second. Let me spin the wheel. Okay, here we go. Okay, people in your country were on Saturday. Complete me la pregunta, por favor. Um, which people? Okay, lea, lea, completa la pregunta para ver si, si le damos. 
si le damos sentido a eso. Vamos a ver. Which people in your country work on Saturdays? Ok, le doy tiempo, le doy tiempo. Um, how... Ah, how many people? Ok, could be. Ya, ya no te veo varias opciones. Which one do you consider is the best one? Yes. ¿Cuál cree que es la correcta? Uh, the second. Repeat again. How many people in your country work on Saturdays? Oh, okay, we can use on the on WH work question. Yes. Or we can say, do people in your country work on Saturday? Mm, but is question only the people? Tiene sentido así solo con las personas en tu país trabajan los sábados? O cuántas personas? Yes, because if we ask the, uh, ask the question in a general way, it's like uh, somebody in another country is asking you a question like that. Es como que sí. de otro país le está haciendo la pregunta, que si las personas en nuestro país trabajan los sábados. It's a close answer. No, it's a close question. Yeah, depende, si tengo, si uso do, do people in your country wear on Saturdays? Uh, yes, they do. No, they don't. It's close. Could be close in that way. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. But in this case, just tell me if we are talking about simple present or present continuous. It's simple present. Okay, simple present. Give me, give me a name, please. Uh, vamos. Um, uh, Paola Jovel. Aquí estoy. <clears throat> okay, here we go, Paola. Ahora sí, complete, me, complete the, the question, please. Complete the question. Don't answer the question, just complete first. What three things? <clears throat> Ahí hay que completar, dicho. Yes. Sería, what, what three things do you do first after you wake up? Ah, okay. What three things do you do first after you wake up? Okay, perfect. We are using simple present or present progressive? Simple present. Are you sure? No. I need that you be sure. <laughs> Yo necesito que usted esté segura. Take a look at the question and tell me. Está fácil para saber si yo estoy usando el presente simple o el presente progresivo. ¿Qué cree usted? Presente progresivo. <ríe> es que recuerdo que una, en una clase nos explicó cuando se repetía el do, porque era como un caso particular. Mm, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entre el progresivo y el simple? Que uno está como verbo, creo. En el progresivo, ¿qué uso? Ya me poncho, teacher. No. 
Teacher. It's quite easy. Quite easy. Teacher. Teacher. Es que se utiliza la ING en el progresivo. Ok, por ahí, yo, por ahí alguien le va a ayudar. Mire, vea, vea, vea. Oiga. Es, es que yo entiendo que en el progresivo es cuando está la acción en movimiento. Como que es algo que lo está haciendo. Okay, o sea, y, estoy corriendo. Pero estoy en, la, caminando. En, los verbos, en los verbos tú pones ING. Eso, le es agregas todo, eso es todo lo que acaba de decir la compañera. Si tú miras que hay ING y una forma del B, entonces está en progresivo. Pero en este caso no hay ING aquí, entonces es... Simple present, right? Simple, simple okay. present, teacher. Choose a name, choose a name, please. Thank Elija. you. Elija un nombre y que no se le olvide, por favor, Paola. Ok, teacher. En pocas palabras, cuando el verbo está con ING, es el presente progresivo. Pero debe de tener una forma del be antes, que puede ser an, is, o are. Ok. Ok, teacher. Muchas gracias, compañera. Mm, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Okay, Jonathan, it's your turn, sir. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, and uh, do you reading a book of the moment? Repeat again. Do you reading a book of the moment? Ah, okay, léala una vez más y vea si suena bien. Um... Are you reading a ah, book at the moment? Ok. Ok. ¿Qué le dio la pauta para saber que era así? Es pregunta. The question. It's a question. Yes, Oscar, it's a question. Pero ¿qué le dio la pauta de que va a usar una forma del B? Es porque lo anterior, anteriormente le dijo usted. Es el verbo está en ING, reading. Ah, read. ok. ING, and you are going to use one for what's a B. Y are lo preside you, are, eh, el, el to be. Are you. are you reading a book at the moment? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, perfect. Choose a name, please. Um, and Gabriela Ramirez. Gabi, are, are you there, Gabi? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see you. Okay, he's there. Really happy. Gabi is really happy every day. She's smiling. I'm nervous, nervous. No, 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 no. Why nervous? Okay, here we go. Vamos a ver, fácil, fácil, fácil. Okay, ahí está. You with an egg sweater? Piense, piense antes de decirme. Please. Are you, are you wearing a sweater? A sweater? Okay, simple present or present progressive? Simple present teacher. Really? Yes. No. Because mm -hmm. it's a lion G. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué tiempo es? Mm, simple present teacher. No progressive. Ah, uh ah, -uh, ah, uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. It's present continuous. Yes. Porque tenemos la forma del B, tenemos A, Y, G. Entonces, ese es presente continuo. Cuando no tenemos ING y usamos do eh, y otras, entonces sí es presente simple. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, give me a name, please. Mm. Candy? Candy, Natalia, Natalia Sánchez? Hello. Let me see you, I don't see you, I don't see you. I'm going to spin the wheel. 
Okay, right here. Okay. You usually sleep well. Complete the question. Complete the question, please. Are you usually sleep well? Mm. Really? Leo, una vez más. No, teacher. What you usually sleep well? <laughs> okay, por ahí le están ayudando, vea. Por ahí, por ahí tiene la madrina que, que la trajo para ahí. Ahí le está ayudando con gestos. She's giving you a, a hand in order that you can switch your answer. Okay, look for another way in order to complete the question. Hello. What do you usually sleep with a teacher? Another way? You usually sleep well? Será que suena bien así? What you usually sleep well? Me confirmo. Okay, veamos, veamos. Gaby, give, give, give her a hand, please. Gabi. Do you, teacher? Ah, okay. Do you? Do you usually yes, yes. sleep well? Ah, okay. And what is the time that I'm using here? Simple. 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 Okay, perfect. Bueno, ahí está. Ahí está, ok, thank you. Give me a name, please. Give me a name, Nehari, Nehari, please. Regáleme otro nombre, please, de los que no hayan participado. America Teacher. Which one? Hello? America, Elizabeth, teacher. Elizabeth? Okay, America, America, America. Okay, here we go, America. Here we go, America. Oh, why is it? Muy fácil. Do you like football? Okay, do you like football? ¿Qué tiempo? Present simple. Simple present. Okay, thank you. Look for a name. Tell, tell me a name, please. Mm. Give me a name, please. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Okay, Cecilia. Cecilia, are you there, Cecilia? I am here, teacher. Okay, here we go.
do you drink a lot of tea? Okay. Time. Hardly ever. Simple present or present progressive? Simple present. Okay. Give me another name, please. Al el nombre de alguien más que no haya participado. Jonathan Dinger. Jonathan, I guess uh, he already participated. Hi, right, teacher. Here we go. Are you listening to music when you work? Mm, okay. Try to repeat it again and listen. Do you listen to music when that you work? Medically ajudan on candy. Thank you. Hand. Thank you. Do you listen to music when you work? ¿Por okay. qué no voy a usar el ar aquí? Porque el verbo lo tengo en presente simple. Okay, tell me. Sorry, sorry. Tell me a name of somebody else. Um, Roxana Alvarez. Roxana Alvarez, are you there? Rose. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, are you sitting right now? Okay, tell me the, the time. Progressivo. Excuse me? Progressivo. Yeah, okay, progressive. Give me a name, please. De alguien más que no haya participado. La compañera. Me, teacher. Coincidimos. Ahí, Ingrid. Okay. Do you check in your emails okay. every day? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to spin it. No me haga trampa, no me haga trampa. Y le quedó la misma. Ok. Ah. Ok, eso se llama to be lucky, really lucky. Do you check in your emails every day? Ok. Uh, think so, present, continue. Excuse me? Present continuous es la oración, la pregunta. Really? Present continuous? 
Are you sure? Segura. So, so. <laughs> no. Ya di una característica. Ya di una característica. No sé. Ok, somebody else, somebody else. Are you checked your emails? Everything. Into a person. Simple person. Simple person. Teacher, present continuo. Simple present because uh, without ing. Ah, okay. The sentence, the sentences is without ing. Teacher, okay. sería sería bueno que nos diera una explicadita extra de. Ah, ok. De los tiempos. Sí, eso es lo que acabo de descubrir. Para que se nos refresque la mente un poco. Ok, I'm going to stop here now. And that is the main point that I need to show you here. Let me do, let me look for right here. Okay, hold on a second. Let me look for the best. Okay. Ahí veo que hay dudas referentes a. Lo vamos a hacer. Uh, we are going to do it. Resolving uh, one exercise. I guess it's going to be better uh, instead of uh, creo que lo vamos a hacer más fácil eh, explicándolo con un ejercicio que haciéndolo de forma más gramatical. Y cuando haya una duda, por favor, me van preguntando. Sí. Okay, take a look at this example that I have here. I got a sentence here. Can you see it? Si lo miras? Hola? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, take a look at the picture and then uh, try to complete the sentence with the right action, A, B, C, D, or E. Which one do you consider that uh, is the right one? Remember that you are going to use usually. Acordémonos en la posición que van los, uh, los adverbios de frecuencia. Y luego voy a usar el verbo go. Swimming on Mondays. Okay, which one is the right one? ¿Cuál es la correcta? Veamos. I am usually going... No. ¿Será? Yes, for sure. I am I usually I am going... Usually going. Yes, I... swimming on Mondays. Sí. No pueden ir dos, dos verbos, ¿verdad? Con no, porque es INE, yes. 
is I, I usually go swimming on Monday. Okay, let us find out. If let our A. a, a. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, take a look at this. This is our Y one. Luego vamos a hacer el review, no se preocupen. Okay, we are combining two, uh, two or three topics here. She always play basketball on Tuesday. Choose your best option. Tell me. Letter E. She is always playing basketball on Tuesday. Okay. There, see, teacher. Hello? Letter C? Letter D. D. Or E. She is on playing basketball on Tuesday. Mm. Well, somebody else say something different? D teacher. Letter? D. D? Yes. Mm. Be careful, be careful. Take a look at this personal pronoun that is here. She. She always plays. Which letter? C. Teacher, y esa oración sería para gente simple. She always plays basketball. Hello, teacher. Okay, okay. She, when I use a bear, uh, when I'm using he, she on it, what happened? ¿Qué sucede cuando yo uso un verbo con he, she, or it? Ad, eh, dependiendo la, la, el verbo que sea, teacher, le agregamos la S, S. I already gave you the, the answer. Ya, ya, she, le, ya le di la respuesta con lo que les acabo de decir. She plays always, little B. Uh, always plays. Ojo con eso, esa es otra cosa. Uh, el orden, donde va a ir el... el Hola, ya va de camino hoy. El frequent adverb. Try to remember, please. Será she play always o será she always plays? For me, always plays. Letter? Letter D, teacher. Letter D? Letter A. <laughs> My goodness, it's really hard for all of you. Okay, be careful about this. She, that means that significa que si yo voy a usar she, el verbo va a tener inflection. Eso es lo primero. ¿Cuál es el inflection que va a agregar? El ah, verbo. ¿Qué va a agregar el verbo? El Eso. verbo, teacher. Ah, ok. Otro tips. Ahora, ¿qué letra elige? Sí, lo que pasa es que él está... ¿Letter? A. Será A. 
No puede ser a porque el verbo no tiene inflection. Es decir, no, no ha cambiado el verbo y lo voy a usar con ella. Sí. No puede ser ese. Entonces, ¿cuál? She, little A. She play always. I already said that the letter A is not the right one because the verb it doesn't have inflection. Teacher sería letter C. Letter C. Let, take a look at this. Vea. Mm -hmm. Luego hacemos el review. Mire, vamos lentos. Okay, they meet this Saturday. Letter B. They Letter. are meeting they this are, Saturday. Okay, because they, they are, are meeting this Saturday. They are, they are talking about the future, right? Aquí vamos a hacer uso del progresivo para tiempo futuro. You say letter B. Ok. Yeah. Ok, here we go. He never had breakfast in the morning. Ok, uh, a little tricky because you need to know exactly the perfect time in order to resolve this one. No, no, no. no a letter E. He's never having breakfast in the morning. He? You say has, teacher. He is never having. Mm, letter? He, he, she, it, use, has. Which one? A, B, C, D, O, E. For me, letter E. This one. It's never having. Okay, somebody else? Letter B. Letter B, had, had never. What about the, the, this verb? Si tengo este, tiene que tener un cambio el verbo tener, este. Oh, or letter A. He has never. ¿Y cuál es el orden correcto? Que vaya primero el verbo y después el... el... Adverbio de frecuencia o all the way around? Letter, no, letter, letter, letter D. Ah, okay. Tiempo she never has breakfast in the morning. Tiempos perfectos. Él nunca ha desayunado en la mañana. She plays football this summer. Letter A, she is playing football this Sunday. Okay, bingo. I hardly ever do my homework in the evening. Tell me. Letter A, I hardly ever does my homework in the evening. I hardly ever. Said I, I hardly ever does? Uh, hardly I, ever let, do. letter, letter B, I do hardly ever my homework in the evening. I do hardly ever? My homework in the evening. I do. Mm. Or letter E. I am letter hardly e. ever doing my letter E. I am okay, hardly okay. ever Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Lo primero que tengo que hacer en este caso es ver qué es lo que va después del sujeto que tengo aquí. Si es el verbo o si es el to be. Adverbio de frecuencia. El verbo, teacher. Do. El verbo. Ahora vea lo que dice ahí, mire. I, I am. Homework in the evening. 
For me, it's letter E. I am hardly ever doing my I homework. I am hardly ever doing my homework mm -hmm. in, the in the evening. Okay. Can somebody else think in a different way? Alguien más piensa diferente? I think it's letter E teacher. Okay. Or letter B. I I do hardly ever. Y será que podría decir I do hardly ever my homework in the evening. No, it's letter D for no change the letter the D. Letter, letter D, I hardly ever do my homework in the evening. In the evening, okay, let us see. Okay, you are right, you are right. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Anne and Michael, fly to Morocco this weekend. Vimos este tema. I'm flying teacher. Ah, okay. I'm flying, oh. letter D. Okay, why you say you are sure that it's our flying? Because this expression is temporal. Because temporal talking about the, the, uh -huh. Porque vamos a usar el presente progresivo para referirnos a. El presente temporal. Al. Al tiempo. Hay alguna palabrita que quiero oír. The time teacher. This week, tomorrow. Sí, no, no, pero, pero, pero hay una palabrita clave. El ING? No. Que usamos el progresivo para referirnos a actividades en? Planes futuras. Ah, oh, my goodness, okay. Our flying, our flying is the right way. Okay, Tom. It's going. It's going. Okay. Yes. Okay, what about this one? He always had dinner in the evening. A, B, C, D, or E? He always has. He always has. Okay, excellent. Thank you. We are having teacher. We are having volleyball practice on Monday, let us see. This one? Yes. Uh uh, uh uh, we are make a mistake. Level A. We have poly <laughs> And the last one. Piensa, piensa. Thank <laughs> you. 
Letter D. I am never. I am never late for school. I? I am never late for school. Okay. Letter D. I'm going to give you two minutes to think in this one. Piensa, piensa, piensa. I never be late for the school. Okay, let us try this one. I never be late. Okay, problem. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Later uh. D, later D. I go, teacher, yo le dije later D. Yes, you, you say the right one. Sí, pero lo quería poner en duda. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Take a look, take a look at this one. Uh, ahí hacemos el review de, de las de cada una de ellas. Ahora les explico. Eh, dice la primera: I usually go swimming on Monday. Aquí la palabra swimming se convierte en nombre. Yo usualmente voy a nadar los lunes. Hay que tener cuidado con eso. Porque no todas las veces que está el ING ahí es, va a ser progresivo. ¿Ya? Ok, number two says she always plays. Dijimos que cuando usamos he o she o it. El verbo que es este va a llevar inflexión. En este caso solo agrega S. Y el orden que llevamos es primero va a ir el pronombre, después el adverbio de frecuencia y después el verbo. ¿Sí me comprenden esa parte? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. I'm clear. Sí, sí. Ok. Mira, voy lento para que me comprendan. Okay, number three. They. Aquí solo dice meet this Saturday. Desde el momento que veo y digo este sábado. Ah, entonces significa que son planes futuros. Y el progresivo me sirve para ello. Entonces voy a decir they are meeting. Ellos se conocerán. Este sábado. Y ahí como que dijera, se están conociendo este sábado. Pero el significado sería precisamente eso. Ok, ahora resuélvanme la siguiente ustedes. Number four. Sí. She. She is playing fat, football this song. She is playing football this Sunday. Okay, porque menciona justamente la, la, el, el momento, ¿no? Estará jugando fútbol este, este domingo. Sí, eh, al hablar en buen futuro es como jugará. Sí. Aunque ya sabemos nosotros que el progresivo es precisamente usado también para ello. Ok, number six. La, la lee por favor alguien. Please. Who wants to read it? I hardly ever do my homework in the evening. Okay. Seven. Annie and Michael are flying to Morocco this weekend. Okay. Mm 
Number eight. Tom is going to the cinema on Friday. Okay. Se está refiriendo a... A Tony, a pretty person. Future, right? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de, de, de compartir, pero... Teacher, solo ponga la, las últimas. La, la, ah, la... Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. <laughs> La nueve y la diez, nada más, abajito. Ah, lo baja, teacher, please. Okay. Thank uh, you. Okay. Usted quería, you, you, you want to take a look at this one, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, and this way, for example, number 10, we, we have volleyball practice on Monday. No are having, no puede decir we are having. Mm -hmm. And 11. I am never. I late. am never. Uh -huh. I am never late for a school. Ya no Thank puede, you. Ya no puedo decir I never be. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let me see the time that we have now. My goodness, time is running. El tiempo ha caminado rápido. Okay, but, but what I want is uh, the following. Lo que quiero es lo siguiente. Déjenme ver si con... Ah, pero no todos van a poder ver la pantalla que voy a compartir. Okay, permítanme un segundito entonces. Okay, I'm not really sure if I show you this. I guess it's gonna be better if I show you in the, in the material. Okay, hold on a second, a little bit of this. Okay, I'm going to show you this again. I already did. Le voy a mostrar esto. Ya se los había mostrado, pero necesito salir de una duda. Okay, vean ahí. Take a look at that. 
And the topic say how to use simple present versus present continuous. And then I got a chart right here. Tengo un cuadrito acá. Acabamos de hacer el ejercicio cuatro. Dice, we use the simple present for general information, routine activities. Ahora, aquí tengo oraciones con presente simple. Dice, I check my email every morning. O she writes reports about meeting. O she audits inventories. O they arrange meeting. Ojo, lo que mencionaba, cuando uso el presente simple, los verbos al usarlo con he o con she o con it cambian. Observe. El verbo rise tiene una S. El verbo audit tiene una S cuando son usados con he o she. Ahora me voy al otro lado. We use present continuous for ongoing action and the time of speaking. Para usar el presente continuo, necesito una forma del be. ¿Y cuál es esa forma del be? Es esta, vea. Esa que quedó ahí es la forma del B. Esta es la forma del B. Esta es la forma del B. Y el verbo deberá de We need to have uh, ING right here. I stop. If I got this combination, the before and ing, I'm talking about the present continuous. Okay, ahora, después de ver estos dos cuadros, me gustaría que quedásemos claros. Si, si, si se comprende cuando son presentes continuos y cuando son presentes simples, yes or no. Pero, sí, pero sin pena, sin pena, por favor. Yes, sir. Okay, los demás. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me see the time that we have now. Okay, question, preguntas, ahorita. Hola. Question, question. No teacher. No question. No teacher. Oh. Solo sería de ver más ejemplos quizás. Ah, uh, could be. Mm, para saber. Diferenciar entre uno y otro. Correcto. Correcto. Ok, hold on a second. Wow, that's when let me look for a better one. I guess. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, this one is going to be the right. Okay, let's 
Okay, click on it, please. Double click on it and you are going to see it. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you a hand if you want. Se las, se las he ubicado así porque I guess it's going to be better that every one of you resolve. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, somebody else? Not yet? Okay, let me check out the attendance now because... Not yet, teacher, not yet. Okay, uh, voy a, re a checar ya la asistencia y por ahí le vamos a dejar esa actividad. Ya nos hemos pasado un par de minutitos. Si hay alguna pregunta, luego la pueden dejar... Eh, en el grupo. Ok, América Elizabeth. 
Say hello, please. America. Okay, and it is. Okay, and it is. Blanca. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay, Francisco. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Gisela. Gisela. Ingrid. Ivania. Jonathan. Present. Don Jose Ernesto. Don Jose Luis. Car Karina Vanessa. Katherine. Present teacher. Okay, Katherine. Uh, Candy. I saw you there, Candy. If I your teacher. Okay. Ah, uh, Paola is there too. Sorry. Uh, Mauricio. Present. Mauricio is there too. Uh, good evening. Good night, teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Take care. Bye bye. Good night, Roxana. Roxana Elizabeth. Okay. Sara. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana. Present. Sarah. Janet. Yeah. Janet. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Yesenia. Present teacher. Jessica. Jessica. Okay, now I'm about to feel. Okay, uh, try to resolve this exercise and tomorrow we are going to uh, talk a little bit about that. And if you have any questions so far, just send it to the group, please. Okay, thank you. Hemos concluido semana tres. Uh, el día de mañana damos inicio a la última semana. Espero que vayan eh, absorbiendo lo que vamos dando para que les vaya funcionando. Ok, estamos a una semana prácticamente de finalizar el módulo. Igual invitando a que quienes no han ingresado, tengo una persona creo que no tiene ninguna actividad en la plataforma. Entonces me gustaría saber si es porque no se puede conectar a la plataforma o es porque no ha tenido el tiempo pertinente. No voy a mencionar nombre. Si esa persona es, se identifica, bueno, me puede escribir incluso a, al grupo. Si hay algún problema, esperaría que a estas alturas todos hayan tenido acceso a la plataforma. Pero me llama la atención a la hora que paso eh, las notas y me encuentro con alguien que no tiene ninguna. Entonces eso me preocupa. Well, anybody say something about Okay, thank you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, take care, bye-bye. See you, Gabriela. Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay, bye, see you, take care. Bye, Janet. Good night, teacher. Okay, good, good night, Edwin. Bye-bye, America. See you.